day nine with EF Ultimate Break, Thailand Getaway, we went um, on our free day, technically, to the PP Islands. Hey guys, this is the last full day of our Thailand trip. I can't believe that the trip has started and ended so quickly. Yeah. It's crazy. We won't stay here longer. We should have probably done the 22 day um, trip, but we didn't have enough time. So, just another reason to come back, right? Yes. Anyways, um, we had the best day yesterday out on the water. We spent all day practically on the boat from about like 12.30 to 9 or so. We spent on the boat. Um, they served us lunch and dinner and a snack. We were able to go to three different cave locations. The bat cave was so cool. That was one of my favorites. The oyster cave was also really cool. Um, it was it was good to like face my fear of laying down. Um, I can get a little claustrophobic, so I was like very proud of myself for that. And then um, we saw the bioluminescence plankton. As when the cave we were in the cave, it had to be pitch black. You would basically splash. And then we were able to make our flower arrangement. Would you say? And then we lit the candle as a group. We we're all in a circle with our kayaks. And then we were able to make our wish and place them in the water for a little bit. We had to collect them, bring them back on the boat with us. Um, but yeah, so much fun. And today we're going to the PP Islands. We were able to take a boat out. We took a speed boat to get there. We went to the Maya um, Bay. We saw where the James Bond movies were filmed. It's a very famous bay. Yeah, um, he knows that. He's location. a movie guy. We had a good lunch on the beach, and then, yeah, we basically island hopped the rest of the day. We made it to another island for lunch. We are having a buffet lunch. I'm not quite sure what's all in it included. It's very nice here. There are a bunch of picnic tables. We're able to swim out there, relax. Yeah, this is wonderful. It's such a fun day. It looks amazing. <laughs> Ooh, a drum Awesome. Oh, That was really, really fun, really worth it. Take your seasickness medication. If you are prone to getting seasick, you are on a speedboat, you don't know the quality of the waves. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say it was that bad though. It wasn't too no. choppy. No one was getting sick or anything on our trip. Just dehydrated. Yeah, make sure to take your water bottle, make sure to keep hydrated. They had a nice cooler with drinks um, that were included. But this was an extra excursion with EF Ultimate Break that we booked in Thailand. The same thing, the poll, yes or no if you want to go. This was 2,500 Thai baht per person, so 5,000 Thai baht um, for both of us, which was $150 USD for both of us. So, was it worth it, would you yeah, say? Yeah, it was fun. We were able to go snorkeling too. We wish we brought our GoPro, right? Yeah. Yeah, next time. And then tipping the boat crew, they recommend about like 180 to 200 Thai baht per person. Yeah. That for us was equivalent to like six dollars, um, but like I said before, if you're able to tip more, definitely tip more. They went over above and beyond for us. Take your meds as needed, sunscreen, hat, sunglasses, towel, swimsuit, cover up, and you're good to go. We got back from that um, excursion to the PP Islands. We and a couple of us went to the Big Buddha. That's another optional to do in Phuket and we were at the big buddha for an hour maybe we Better just walked that, around like 30 minutes yeah but yeah we just walked around you could walk around the perimeter um it's kind of a one-way system so once you come up the stairs you have to walk around and then go out you can't go back down the stairs um so yeah it was it was cool and that was a free for us so we just had to pay for our taxi driver and luckily we were able to split the cost. Day 10 with EF Ultimate Break. Uh, this was our last day. Hey guys, morning here morning. in Thailand. This is our actual last day in Thailand. Yep. Uh, we wish we did the 22 day trip. Uh, we love Thailand. The people, the food, the culture, 
the water, the ocean, everything yeah. was just amazing. Yeah. Um, we're heading back to Bangkok. We're still in Phuket. Uh, yeah, and then we have a little bit of time in between. Our flights from getting to Bangkok to flying to Korea. Yeah. So, what are so we doing we, today? <laughs> so, Bangkok is famous for the train market. So, we are going to sneak that in. I think that will be a great end to our trip. Um, yeah, definitely that's something I really wanted to see while we were here. So, I'm thankful. Um, our amazing tour director, Jing, made it happen. So, she's been the amazing. Best. She went literally over and above for people on oh, this yeah. trip. So. Um, but yeah, yesterday we had a great time out on the water. We went to the PP Islands and a couple other places. Not PP, PP. Yeah, it's PP Islands. <laughs> um, so that was a lot of fun. We had a great like lunch barbecue and time to snorkel, time to swim and relax. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, really he got to. What did you get to do? He had to snorkel. Yeah, snorkel, but dive a little yeah, bit. Yeah, free dive. Yeah. Did a little bit of free diving. Um, yeah. Where our, not our tour guiding, but uh, the people that we, uh, they're kind of the company that we did, they're like, well, wear a life jacket um, because it is deep. And it we're, right where the boat was, it was a shelf, so it dropped like from, yeah. like, it was like 30 feet to 40 feet deep, right where the boat was. So, yeah. and then just straight drop mm -hmm. down into the ocean. So it was understandable, but like where we were was, there are sections, I think the max where we were supposed to be swimming was 25. And that's not bad, that's easy to drop down, come back up. But where the coral and the fish were, it was like 10 feet. Yeah. So, so yeah. I uh, gave Katie my life jacket and sort of just held on to it and dropped down a couple of times and yeah. got down in deep. But mm -hmm. um, there was sea urchin, and if you don't know what those are, a sea urchin is pretty much a spike ball of death. Yeah. If you get stung, um, the barb will get stuck in you. And if you pull it out, the poison will go yeah. through your body and you can die right. um, and go into a paralysis. Mm -hmm. Fun. Yeah. So those are, you always stay away from those, of course, no matter what, unless you have gloves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just fun and amazing um, mm -hmm. seeing another ecosystem yeah. once again somewhere else in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. Then after um, the PB Islands, we went to. Where do we go? Where do we go before dinner? Um, Monkey Island. Oh. No. Yeah, no. Where do we go before dinner? Nothing. We came. Oh, um, the big Buddha. Oh, we went yes. To the, the largest Buddha. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fact that I know of is the Buddha we saw, Statue of Buddha, um, is as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. So, if you've seen that in life, you know that's pretty big. Yeah. This is huge yeah. too. So. It was pretty cool, I will admit. Like, we, we're not Buddhist or anything, wow. but it was cool to see and yeah. to observe other cultures and religion. So, yep. they had a lot of Hindu influence at the temple as well. I thought that yeah, was really interesting. It is, it is a very interesting yeah. culture on how Buddhism and Hinduism, there's a mixture of a lot yeah. of stuff. And I mean, we only are about six hours flight time from India, so yeah. there, there were a couple Indians there as well. So. Um, but yeah, and then we went to Three Monkeys um, restaurant last night, wow. which I'll put some footage in. It was incredible. My friend, or our friend Gabby, booked the reservation because us, she's yeah. like, we have to go here. This is like the restaurant to go to in Phuket. So. Yeah, it's top. Yeah. Well recommended by a lot of people. It's a so five-star nice. restaurant, yeah. I'd say. And our meals combined was like less than maybe 50 USD. I think at max it was like maybe 60 bucks. Yeah, which and is, this is we like, got a lot of food. And then the US has been all together. It would have probably been like a two thousand dollar dinner. Yeah, for all like seven of us. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, so delicious. You have to go there for sure. But anyways, we're getting ready to head down to breakfast. Um, we are leaving. Phuket and then leaving Thailand. We're going to South Korea next. Woo! Stay tuned. We flew back to Bangkok, Thailand. And we had our farewell lunch. Um, well, the group did. <laughs> we went to um, the Bangkok train market and this was something that we were going to touch on earlier in the video. Um, some tour directors take their people there, but ours didn't. Um, we wanted to go. It was on my bucket list. Bangkok is known for their train markets. 
Basically, this is a train market. The train runs six times per day, and it's a very slow moving passenger train, but the vendors know the times. They have it listed on the board, and it's just really cool to see you know, how close their items are to the train tracks. And when you know there's an overhead sign and sound saying the train is approaching soon, how they just take all the um, their produce and their product away, how they put the like their um, what do you call them like their canopy canopies tucked back um, to make space for the train. And in our film, it was pretty cool. You were able like literally there's a big red line you have to stay behind, otherwise it will get so like ticked off with you yes. um but you literally like if you put your hand out you could touch the train you're that close to it so there's delicious food there and drinks the pad thai was like probably some of the best there right now we're at the train market in bangkok thailand um it's pretty hot but in the shade it's not bad the sun's really hot we just had pad thai for the last time Got my mixed berry smoothie. So right now the way the market runs is um, the uh, vendors and all that, they'll have their whole shop like this and then they have little canopies going across the tracks um, like that. So there's the tracks, there's canopies. Um, and when they, the train has a designated time to come by and go. So like 10 minutes before the train starts coming, they start getting everything cleaned up and pull the turns away and let the train go by and then just put it all back out. It's really cool. Yeah, there's a red line too that you have to be back for enough, otherwise some people will blow a whistle saying so you have to get back. Yeah, they, there's people that have control because they know like this is why people come here to see the train and see the market. So, we'll see the train soon. Bye. Hey guys, so we had the option once we got back to Bangkok, Thailand, to either get a Thai oral massage, get a tattoo, well, I guess those were the main options. And then me and TJ decided to go beyond the group and we decided to go to the Bangkok uh, train market and it was totally worth it. We had a wonderful time. It was just us two, no one else wanted to come and it was so cool. So. That's really not on the itinerary, but we made it part of the itinerary. Um, it's right by the floating market, so it took an hour and a half. But yeah, I kind of missed out on the massage, not gonna lie, but we, are, we already got one, so it's well worth it. And then um, we also missed out on the farewell lunch. Um, that's the end of the tour, basically a whole meal with um, our tour and saying goodbye. And our tour director gives a speech as well. So we missed that, but it's okay. For shopping, um, yeah, I mean, kind of what the floating market take about 100 USD. And I mean, you probably won't use it all, but you're able to find some good stuff. We got a couple of scarves for our family yeah. and a pretty good deal for that. Since we paid outside of EF Ultimate Break, our tour guide Jing said it was 100 USD. So that included our transfer there. Keep in mind, it was an hour and a half out from Bangkok, Thailand, so that included transportation. Our guide waited for us at while well, we were there. We weren't there long either. And then, yeah, we head back. Yeah. So that's something I'm glad we were able to do, and I'm thankful we were able to fit it in, for sure. So for our first time to Thailand, we spent about, outside of the EF Ultimate Break package, probably about 1,500 to 2,000 USD equivalent for the both of us. Yeah. We brought back a ton of souvenirs. We had to pay for meals on our own, some of them. Most. And the extra excursions we did, that equivalent and totaled about 1,500 to 2,000 USD. And that was well worth it, I would say. Our money mm -hmm. stretched really far. We got a good deals and we got to do what we wanted to. That's something if you saw something online that you want to do while you're in country, definitely chat with your tour director beforehand. Um, see if it's possible to go, but don't be afraid to kind of pivot off from the EF Ultimate Break group and do your own thing too. Just make sure you have a buddy and let your tour director know. Um, and I mean, some places you can go solo, but it's just like, I just say be cautious with that. Tipping culture is huge in Thailand. Um, like I said earlier, that's how they make their money and their living. Tip 
you know what you can do um and even a little bit more if they provide excellent service we tip jang our tour director probably what we could what you recommended about like six to seven dollars a day for one person so we did that for both of us and that was a great amount um and appropriate for what she provided us and the service she gave us. So what is everyone? Like welcome, welcome to Bangkok and welcome to EF Ultimate Bank Trip. I can't wait to take you all to explore Bangkok, Phuket and Chiang Mai. Let's go let's like let's explore Thailand together. Food experience, um, be cautious of what you eat of course at the street markets. Usually the restaurants are fine. Um, just be cautious of your belly, take your anti-diarrheal meds pepto bismol gas x just stuff if you need it take it better be safe than sorry there are pharmacies everywhere if you need to grab something there are 7-elevens everywhere asia is known for 7-elevens yes. um so yeah don't don't feel afraid if you're missing something you can always look for it at a 7-eleven i was able to complete about everything i wanted to do on my thailand bucket list from the elephants to the markets to um, the Bangkok street life to the extra things you could do. I'm just thankful we were able to do and complete, you know, a Thailand bucket list that I had set in mind. Yes. Um, we went in the summer season, so just be prepared, you know, how hot it is. Take good care of yourself. Drink water, lather up on sunscreen, have your hat and sunglasses. And of course, good walking shoes. Yes. <laughs> and, um, all the breakfasts were included with EF Ultimate Break, so that was something we didn't have to worry about. A couple meals, lunches were pretty much mainly on our own. Um, some were included and some dinners were included in the package. So just budget for lunch and dinner mainly. Our hotels, so we went to um, Asai, Bangkok and Chinatown, which was right by the street life. Um, we spent about four nights, three nights um, initially and then one night before we left. That was right next to the mall in 7-Eleven, which was really cool if we needed something. Get your snacks for your flights. Um, and in uh, Chiang Mai, we stayed at the Cross Vibe um, for two nights and that's close to restaurants, bar life. There was laundry available at Chiang Mai and Phuket. And we stayed at the Travel Lodge in Phuket, which was nice. There's nothing spectacular about, you know, they're that nice. one. They had a pool, two of them. I'd say, yeah, yeah they're really nice and uh, not something you would think, but yeah, definitely uh, nice and uh, above my expectations. Yeah, just a quick touch on the Thai baht. So about 35 to 36 Thai baht is equivalent to $1 USD. So your money can stretch pretty far. Very. Tipping is important to tip like whoever helps you with your bags too, about like 100 to 200 Thai baht. So just make sure to hand them um, your money when they've helped you. Yes. Same with our bus drivers, we tip them about 200 Thai baht per person in Chiang Mai and Phuket. Overall with Jing, she was amazing. Our tour director, she went above and beyond. I mean, that was our first time leading an EF Ultimate Break group. She was usually with older adults. So we both have excellent things to say about her. Yes. If we ever go back to Thailand, which we hope we do, we hope we see her. Yes. Yeah, she was great. So this is our wrap up of Thailand Getaway with EF Ultimate Break. TJ, what were your first thoughts of being a first time EF traveler? I'd say it was very, it all depends on your tour director, your guide and all that. But overall, the Thailand one was probably the That's best. Um, Jane was just amazing and yeah, I definitely will recommend the Thai, Thailand getaway. Yeah, I love the trip. I love EF. As I mentioned before, I have a link in bio if you're interested. Otherwise, we'll see you on our next adventures. And then us two, after time, we're headed to South Korea. So we'll do a video on that soon. Yes. Bye guys. Bye. So anyways, we're getting, we have um, our bags packed. We had our hotel room for a little bit. Now we're gonna head to the lobby and we're gonna soon be on our way to go to the airport. So really sad to leave Thailand, but this isn't goodbye. Just see you later. Bye. 
Bye guys, see you guys in South Korea.